And so what's a credential stuffing attack? Basically, as an attacker, if I want to steal user accounts, the, the most popular way is the following. Uh, most of the people, they reuse the same password across different websites, across different mobile applications. So as an attacker, what I will do is I will search for a database of a leaked password. So maybe you know you had an account on the platform that got you know hacked and your uh, your password you know leaked. Uh, and because you reuse the same password and the same email on other services, then I, as an attacker, I may be able you know to get access to your account even if this other platform you know has a good security and didn't get hacked. And so as an attacker, I will make a bot. I will make you know a lot of requests in parallel. I will you know start a lot of automated browsers, so what we call bot. And each of these bots they will make thousands of requests using all you know the stolen credentials that they obtain from other breaches. And because people reuse the same password on different services, then there is a high probability of finding uh, other user accounts that reuse the same credentials. And to give you an idea of the size of the problem, so on this slide, I show a credential stuffing attack that uh, we blocked on one of our customers at Datadog. The attack lasted four days, four days. And during these four days, the attacker made more than 107 million malicious login attempts using bots, obviously. <laughs> and he leveraged more than 91 million IP addresses located all around the world, which made Usually, this is used to stay under the radar and avoid, you know, triggering rate-limiting uh, protections.